Hey guys, welcome to this multiplying rational expressions video. There are a couple ways you can do this one. I'm just going to show you one way you can do it. First step, what we can do is multiply across. So we can do the tops and the bottoms first. So three times one is three. X to the fourth times X squared is X to the sixth. We end up adding them. Y cubed plus Y squared is Y to the fifth and z plus z to the fourth is z to the fifth. So that's our top. Then we can do the same thing to the bottom. Four times nine is 36. X squared times x squared is x to the fourth. And then z squared is z squared. Now we can start canceling from top and bottom. So three and 36, this reduces into 1 12th, because they're both divisible by three then x to the 6 and x to the 4. This means there's 6 on top and 4 on bottom. That's going to leave 2 on top. Another thing you can do is 6 minus 4. So the y doesn't have anything else on bottom, so it's just y to the 5th. And the z, this one we can just do 5 minus 2, which is 3. Or the other way you can think of it is 5 z's on top, 2 on bottom. After they cancel, there's only going to be 3 on top. Actually, I can show you that really quick. 5z's on top, that's what z to the fifth means, and then z squared is 2z's on bottom. Now, after we cancel them, notice how many we have left. We have three left. That's where that comes from. So this is the final answer. We can clean it up and just say x squared y to the fifth z cubed over 12. It's the same thing as what's written over there, but it just looks a little cleaner. And that's it. So if that makes sense, please like and subscribe. Check out andymath.com for more videos and study guides. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.